Hi everyone, welcome to my video for Theory of Knowledge on History as an Area of Knowledge. This is going to be part one and we're going to be talking about what is history. So the way we're going to be looking at history is through the knowledge framework. What is a knowledge framework? Well, it's a tool for analysis of different areas of knowledge which we can use to make comparisons between those areas of knowledge. So every area of knowledge has a knowledge framework and it has five parts to it. The first part is scope and applications, followed by key concepts and language, methodology, key historical development and links with personal knowledge. And as I mentioned before, you can use these frameworks to compare and contrast different areas of knowledge and we can use it as a tool for exploring a particular area of knowledge. So here is the history knowledge framework and I wanted to point out some particular elements that are important to understanding um, the strengths and weaknesses of history as an area of knowledge. Firstly, if we're looking at the scope and applications, you can see that history is the study of the recorded past. And please make note of the recorded past. It's not actually the study of every single thing that happened um, in history and has happened in the past. It's what we have actually recorded. Secondly, I wanted to point out some things about the methodology of history. You can see that history is not what happened in the past. Um, it's historical theory that is constructed or made by humans out of the available evidence by reason and imagination, those ways of knowing they're uh, being brought in there. You can see that there are some problems with that because if it's constructed um, by humans, it relies on issues of selection and interpretation of source material. So historians have to go and select which, which sources they're going to use and they also have to place importance or make judgments about their importance and then they have to interpret what those sources are actually telling them about that historical event. There's also issues of re reliability around first-hand accounts. Historians usually will get their information from primary sources, uh, relics or, or remnants of the past left behind, perhaps diary entries, uh, videos, photos, uh, stories like oral history, letters. But those accounts, the things that historians are using to construct history, are already subject to the issue of bias and perspective of the person who recorded those in the first instance. And there's just this problems of memory and observation that go along with that. Did they see it accurately? Did they remember it accurately? What um, elements did their memory place emphasis on? So it's not only the historian that brings their bias, but also the sources already are inherently biased and that causes problems um, for historians. If we also have a look at the bottom point of methodology there, you can see that um, contrast to some other uh, areas of knowledge. Uh, explanation in history is a plausible theory that explains the relevant source material and fits other accepted theories. So it can be, and it is the case in history, that for one event we might have many conflicting or competing theories and it's very difficult or basically impossible to understand which is the correct theory because any theory in history, as long as, in history as long as it's plausible and backed up by evidence can be accepted even if it competes with another theory. Lastly, I just want to make a point about the historical development. We need to bear in mind that present preoccupation tends to affect the study of past events. So issues that are going on in our society today tend up uh, make us tend to reflect on uh, events in the past differently. So you can see right now uh, with events in America there is a resurgence of obsession with the far right and authoritarianism and uh, issues of fascism are brought up a lot at the moment and that's because our present day pre preoccupation is the situation in US politics. So we just need to be mindful that when we study history we bring our present day preoccupations, uh, importances, judgments with us when we study history. So moving on to a, de a definition of history. People often say, isn't everything in the past history? Well, for the past to be reconstructed into history, there must be evidence. So there's difference between past, the past, and there's difference between the history. Sometimes there's too little evidence, e.g. we don't have a lot of usable uh, evidence from medieval times. And sometimes there's too much evidence, e.g. if we went to find uh, evidence about events from the year 2002, we would find that there was just an overwhelming amount of sources recorded on the internet for us. It's important to remember that everything that happened in the past is not history. History is only concerned with events that are considered significant 
although even that is up to deb up for deb debate because you know by how many people does it need to be considered significant and by whom does it need to be considered significant and that's where you can uh, enter issues about people getting uh, you know, particular groups getting left out of history like women for a period of time or uh, minorities for a period of time getting left out of history because the people working in history at the time don't consider their histories to be significant. An example of this, for, you know, JFK's assassination is history, but my participation in the under-8s basketball competition at the Gawler Rec Centre is not, even though I have a trophy um, or as, as evidence for my participation. It's just not significant to anyone. Here's a quick, quick definition of history. History is not what happened in the past. History is not just only concerned with the surviving evidence of the past. History is actually about the choices that historians make, about what sources they're going to consider significant and how they're going to interpret those. So historians is what History is what historians choose to interpret from the surviving evidence, the scraps and fragments left behind from that historical period of the past. So a quick way to remember is sources plus historians equals histories.